Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a Q&A because I don't have anything else to post. So before we get into the video, make sure you are following me on Instagram so that you can be a part of the next Q&A because that's where I did it. Like this video and subscribe down below so you can join the family. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I think I'm gonna start out with the easy questions. Ooh, I like that one. I'm gonna save that one because that's like a kind of a, not deeper, but like not just a basic, what's your favorite, blah, blah, blah. So the first question is from Aaron J. Favorite type of movie, action or romantic? What is your favorite candy from K Blake 26 Thanks, Kenzie. I really like take fives but they're kind of uncommon and I don't really ever see them anywhere, but I really like them. If you ever wanna buy me candy, then you can buy me take fives. The next one is from Andy Jessica. What's your favorite sport, either to watch or to play? I think to watch would be gymnastics because I used to do gymnastics. Soccer is pretty fun to play, even though it's really boring to watch. On a scale of one to 10, how much do you like soccer? I can't choose between a six or a seven. I think most of the time, just like I'm always dreading playing soccer, but then once I get on the field, I'm okay, if that makes sense at all. That last question was from Sarah Dernal. Hallie says, how do you pick out such cute clothes? Well, actually, I don't know. I would say that most of the time, I just like gravitate towards things that I really like. I mean, that makes sense, obviously. You don't wanna wear something that you don't like. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to say this. You should have your own style and you should be you and your clothing should represent that. Don't try to be someone you're not. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. If you like a piece of clothing, buy it. Even if it may not be like what other people like, so what? That's their problem. If you like it, you get it, girl. Hello? Yeah. No problem. Okay, bye. So this one is from my Spanish teacher who lives in Guatemala. Yesenia says, are you excited as me for the upcoming Guatemala trip? Yes, I am. I'm so excited to finally meet you. I'm so excited. This one is from Ashley and she says, what an, blah, I'm done with English. What is an essential you need for traveling? Well, if you're thinking on the practical side, probably like clothes. If you're thinking like not practically, <laughs> I would say a camera for me because then I can document like where I've been and like what happened that day. Before I had like a camera like this that I could carry around everywhere, I definitely use my phone a lot more. So that was kind of like my camera. Emma says, other than Australia, if you had to travel anywhere, where would it be and why? Dad, where would I go? I'm not here. Where would I go and why? I don't know. What did you just say? Galapagos. Galapagos? It's Galapagos. Galapagos. Well, that's where you want to go. I wouldn't mind going there. Somewhere. Like th the Greek islands tour. Didn't we go to Greece? Cambodia? I've always wanted to go there because I want to see the Rafa house. If you guys don't know what the Rafa house is, look it up. But like for vacation, because that would not be for vacation. But I think for just like relaxing and like having an actual vacation, I would either say Aruba has always been kind of cool to me and Fiji. It really depends on the situation. If I want to go somewhere where it's like not a vacation, then that would be Cambodia. If I wanted to go somewhere that was like a vacation but not beachy, then I would say like Switzerland. I've always kind of wanted to go there. I just want to go everywhere. I can't really answer that question. And the why to all of those is because I just want to travel and I want to experience new cultures. And that's just so cool to me is being able to like see how other people do things. It just gives me a better perspective like when I come back. I really like this question a lot. It's from Morgan. She says, if you're stressed with school, 
What do you do to relax? Love you, Maddie. Aw, love you too. I actually had like a really stressful week a couple weeks ago. I don't think I really handled myself that well. I was like just getting really, really, really stressed. But something that my mom always tells me is to take it like one step at a time, one day at a time. Because, and that's what actually I was thinking about that last night because I was writing out what I do is I write out like every single day and like what I'm gonna do on each day. And that helps me a lot with like planning and like preparing for the next day so that I don't get like too overly stressed where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do so many things because when I wake up, I'll be expecting it. I'll be like, okay, I know I have to do a lot of these things. But even then it can still get stressful because you have to do a lot of things. I think taking a break and food helps but don't take too long of a break because then you'll get out of the mode of it. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on that because I think I could get more in detail about that. The next question is from Kenna and it says, what do you want to do after high school and why? I am gonna go to college. I am choosing between two different schools. I want to go into media communications with either a minor in business or a major in business and a minor in media communications. I don't know what school yet, so I don't want to announce that yet because I might do a video on it. Next question is from Sydney Songer. Hey cousin, where do you see yourself in five to 10 years slash your goals in life? This is a really good question and I honestly don't know. I feel like I always have like planned out my life and like I'm gonna do this and this and this, but it seems like every single year has kind of changed. Especially starting YouTube, it has really changed in the past year of what I wanna do with my life. I'll be out of college in five years. Doing some sort of media job or still doing YouTube, I really hope that YouTube gets somewhere for me. If I'm not doing YouTube, then it might be sort of something like media business marketing stuff. Maybe working for a company, doing their videos, doing their maybe um, commercials or something like that with a boyfriend or something along the lines of a relationship. Probably just getting my, my feet under me because I'll just, I'll just have gotten out of college so like, I really hope in five years I have a job and my goals in life probably would be exactly that. I hope that YouTube works out, but if it doesn't then, oh well. So that was the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to participate in the next one, make sure to follow me on Instagram right down here. And I hope you got to know me a little bit better. And if you guys want me to do this again, make sure to let me know in the comments or tell me on Instagram or something like along those lines. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below so you can join the family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.